Hi everyone, and welcome back. Uh, so, um, on today's video, I'm going to be making a real quick, real simple uh, raised bed using some reclaimed materials that I've got lying around. Uh, so, if you're interested in that, guys, stay tuned and I'll show you uh, what we're up to today. Uh, so, I'm going to be using this um, old polycarbonate roofing, which I salvaged from um, my parents' um, old conservatory. And I've got this bit of 2x2 two two timber here which um, again was salvaged from uh, something I think it was a part of an old wardrobe or something uh, so my plan is um, to cut this in half and make that the sides of the raised bed uh, so I'll bring it over guys and I'll show you what I'm up to okay so I've got this old polycarbonate roofing and this is the last two pieces I've got left uh, I've used the the rest of it in various different projects. So I thought these two bits here would be ideal to make a little raised bed for my tomatoes. So it's quite easy to cut. The easiest way i found is to run a Stanley knife along it and then fold it over and do the other side. Uh, that way it should break quite simple. It should break along the line that you cut. So I'm going to cut this. First off I'm going to trim this excess unusable bit off here uh, then I'm going to cut this straight in half uh, I've worked out it should be about eight inches deep this bit and I'm just, it's not going to be very wide but it's about a foot and a half wide so that should be perfect for some tomatoes or peppers or watermelons or whatever you want to put in there uh, so I'm going to cut two end sections eight inches on this bit and cut these for the sides and I'm going to make four little corner supports uh, using this piece of wood here. Uh, I'm going to do this slightly longer so that I can knock it into the ground a little bit, uh, just so it doesn't move around. And I should be able to screw straight through the plastic into the wood. So I'll make a start, guys. So I'm going to make a start now. So at the finished point, this is 17 inches. So. Uh, I'll do it just over about eight and a half inches uh, for each piece. Uh, so, like I said, the easiest one I've found is to cut this with a Stanley knife and um, razor blade. So, if I cut these at eight and a half, um, make sure you get it in the middle of one of these air bubbles. Uh, that way, it should break quite easily. So, we'll go for the middle of this one here. So I'll just show you me cutting this one, uh, just show you how easy it is doing it this way. And then I'll cut the rest and get back to you afterwards. That's one side cut. So there's one bit there. Not particularly straight, but uh, I could use the straight line or something, but that'd be fine because that'll be underneath. And that nice flat bit will be along the top. So I'll cut another bit out for the other end and then I'll get that one trimmed and cut. Okay, so I've got this cut. Um, <laughs> it's not particularly straight, but it doesn't matter. It's only for filling up with soil and planting some tomatoes in, but they're more or less eight inches each. And you've got a nice straight bit across the top and the rough bit will be on the bottom. So it doesn't matter too much if it's not quite straight. So next thing I'm gonna do is this piece of wood here um, should be plenty long enough to do four corner spots. 
Yeah, I'm going to leave a little bit extra, so I'm just going to cut this into four equal parts. Uh, whatever's extra, um, I can just knock into the ground a bit. Uh, that way, um, when I'm filling it up and stuff, it won't move around. But once it's there, it's full of soil. Uh, it's got the plants in it. It's not going to go anywhere anyway, so uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, so I'll get this bit cut, and then I'll make a start um, screwing it all together. Okay, so got our four bits of wood cut, and um, you can probably see where I'm going with this. <laughs> so basically, what I've got to do now is attach two bits to each of these end bits, uh, remembering to put the nicest side facing up. And then I can attach the two sides on. I may need to put another uh, support in the middle at some point, and the soil may push it out. Uh, but it should be all right. It's quite sturdy, this stuff. So literally all I'm gonna do with this is screw through this plastic into the wood. And I did have a look to see if I've got some washers, but I couldn't find any, so. Uh, it should be fine with just a couple of screws in there. Uh, I've done it before and it's I've never had a problem. Uh, sometimes it can pull through the plastic, but like I said, it's pretty tough plastic, so it should be fine. Uh, but if you have got a couple of washers, just put them under your screw and it'll stop the screw pulling through the plastic. Yeah, so I'll get these screwed in and then we'll get it assembled. And I'll take it over to the veg gun and decide where I want to put it. Okay, so that's that done. So I'll just take it over to Veg Garden now. Uh, luckily, it's really, really light and it should be quite strong. So I'll take it over to the Veg Garden, put it where I'll have a think about where I want to put it, and then we need to get it filled up with compost or some soil mixed in with some compost. And then when it comes to plying out my tomatoes, uh, they should love it in there. Uh, I should be able to stagger and get sort of almost two rows in there. Uh, so I should be able to probably get about eight tomato plants in there, hopefully. Maybe even put a few cucumbers in there with it. Uh, if you're wondering what this is, this is um, another project I've got on the go at the moment. A dove, dove cot. Uh, so I probably might do a video on that at some point as well. So keep an eye out for that one. Anyway, so I'll take this over to the veg garden. Okay, so this is where I've decided to put it. Right at the top of the veg garden. Uh, this is the sunniest, warmest most sheltered place in the veg garden, so should be ideal for the tomatoes. So uh, now what I've got to do is hammer it in. So these should knock in quite easily here because it's um, quite soft soil. So I'll get that knocked in. Okay, so I've got that knocked in and I've just started filling it up uh, with any old bits of compost and soil from plant pots and stuff. And um, I've also put all these big old chunks of clay, uh, which I keep finding in the garden. So um, underneath all the soil, uh, we've got a layer of clay. So. Uh, it's a really clay under there. <laughs> uh, but I don't know if you know about clay. Obviously it doesn't drain very well, but it holds on to loads of nutrients. So um, I'll just chuck in it in the bottom of this raised bed and the plants will be able to get the nutrients from it eventually. Uh, I've got half a bag of compost here. 
So I'm going to chuck that in there. Yeah, I'll just give it a mix in with the handheld rotometer. And I'm going to have to go and get some more compost most likely. Uh, but I can always nick some soil from somewhere else in the garden. Uh, this is all enriched with my own uh, chicken manure compost from our chicken and ducks. So uh, I might dig over a bit of that, level it off a bit. Uh, I can see there's a few mump, uh, lumps here and there. So uh, I'll take them down and put some of that in here, mix in some more compost and uh, we'll be ready to go. Okay guys, so I've just almost finished filling this up and I've just been using soil off my veg bed because uh, that's full of chicken manure uh, compost, um, homemade chicken manure from our chickens. Um, so um, I haven't spent any money on this so far, so it's been completely free. Um, I, all I've got to do is buy maybe two or three more bags of compost to go in there um, just to fill it up to the top or I could just um, even take some more soil from somewhere else around the garden uh, but I would like to get a bit of compost in there uh, just to get a bit more um, substance to it if you get what I mean it's very clayy our soil um, anyway guys um, I just want to show you uh, gardening doesn't have to be expensive um, this cost me nothing so far and um, my greenhouse was free most of the wooden pots and stuff you see uh, they're either free or really really cheap because uh, I haven't got much money anyway, so I haven't spent any. So you don't have to have loads of money to garden. Um, you can spend as little or as much as you want. And there's no wrong or right way of doing things. Uh, it, you just go with it. So anyway, I hopefully have inspired you to start gardening. Uh, that's my aim, uh, to get as many new uh, people gardening as possible and growing their own food. Uh, that's ultimately... Um, the way to go is to grow your own stuff uh, and that's what I'm trying to do and I'm hopefully uh, that's what you'll try and do anyway guys um, I hope you enjoyed today's video of making this really simple uh, really easy taking me about 10-20 minutes to make this uh, this raised bed here um, which I'm going to put all of my tomatoes in maybe a couple of cucumbers maybe some other bits not sure yet but definitely tomatoes anyway hope you enjoyed today's video guys um, if you haven't subscribed um, if you could consider subscribing that would be great uh, it really helps out a lot and feel free to leave a comment if you've got any questions or anything and don't forget to like the video see you on the next one guys thanks so much for watching see you later